So man, four years on YouTube. It feels like I started yesterday. And it's really funny because around a year ago, I was wishing that I could go back to the feeling that I had when I first started my YouTube channel, you know, with how exciting it was to every day just getting home from school and making a YouTube video. And coincidentally, it's something that I've been granted again within the last year. And it feels so amazing. But man, a few months ago, I went through the feeling of uh, wanting to quit YouTube and whether or not I should do it. And I think that was one of the best things that has ever happened to me ever because before I never really questioned the reason why I did YouTube I just did it because it's something I always wanted to do but when I finally questioned the fact of why I do YouTube and if I wanted to keep on doing it that's when I realized how important it truly was to me and if I never even asked the question of whether I should quit or not honestly I wouldn't be going as good as I have right now and a reason why I think I'm doing so well on YouTube now is because I feel like my channel has had a, a rebirth per se for the first time in the history of me doing YouTube, it feels like I've truly been myself now. And over the last year, I've, I've really discovered what it means being myself and being a man. It truly does feel like I just started making YouTube videos again. That has to be one of the most important feelings ever because I feel like sometimes in our life we get caught up doing something every single day. We soon get numb to the feeling of what it feels like doing it. And we kind of just keep on doing it without you know having any feelings towards that anymore because for the longest time on YouTube I kind of just went through the motion and this goes to show for my content through the end of 2018 and almost entirely of 2019 besides the end of it was that I was just doing YouTube because I just always did it I was posting a video every single three days on top of going to high school and also having two jobs I mean it just became the motion I didn't really feel anything I just kind of felt numb when I graduated high school I was like man how did I ever go to school for seven hours a day five days out of the week have two jobs and post a video every three days I was like man that is some serious dedication but then I realized it was never really dedication because the videos I made in general weren't hard at all to make they were just like the most lackluster videos with no thought behind them at all I can't even remember a single video that I made in 2019 besides a few videos that I made at the end of it like like my Christmas special and my Fortnite Halloween special, which was one of the best videos I've ever made. I truly don't remember anything that I have done in 2019. But the difference is now is that I'm doing something that I feel important all the time. And that's what I feel like has changed with my channel. I've truly been myself now. And I think that's what the issue has been this whole time is because I never really was myself on YouTube. I won't lie, when I started YouTube, obviously my biggest inspirations because I, I was a Hot Zombies fanatic was Smith Plays and Mr. T Lexify, especially Mr. T Lexify. I was obsessed with him. And you can really see in my older content in 2017, they were heavily influenced by Mr. T Lexify. Even one of my older videos, I did a Mr. T Lexify outro unironically, just because I thought it was cool. And then in 2018, I was trying so hard to do what Daekwon did because Daekwon was, he was my favorite streamer of all time. So I wanted to do what he did on YouTube, post Fortnite game plays on there of getting high kills high win and then in 2019 I really like I, I took to C day a lot and it started making me edit my videos a lot more I won't lie that did a great bit for my channel because I went to COD Zombies and then my editing was so good in the COD Zombies community that I felt like I really made a place for myself. But then starting in 2020, I really discovered myself. Once I started getting off social medias like Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat, I really found out what I am and not being influenced by any other creators in any type of way. And that is one of the best feelings that I've ever had. And that's why I think my channel has gone through a serious rebirth because it doesn't even feel the same when I do YouTube anymore because the last two years doing YouTube has just been an endless slog. Besides a few moments in time, that's really what it has felt like. But now it feels like every video, I put so much time and effort into each of them that it feels important again. Going back to the feeling of when I first started YouTube, that feeling of accomplishment after every video because a lot of those videos were made a week or two apart. I spent so much time doing it because mostly because the struggle at the time, right? Because I didn't know how to edit. But then when I started getting better at making YouTube videos and it was like faster making them, it felt really great because 
because the accomplishment in doing it and the fact that I was finally doing something that I dreamed of doing half of my life. I wanted to do YouTube ever since I was eight years old when I watched some custom zombie videos back in 2010. And that's when I realized I wanted it so badly to do YouTube. For the longest time, I had this dream of doing YouTube and in 2017, I made that dream come into reality on this day, May 15th. All right, we got the fire going again. By the way, I'm in my woods right now. And uh, you may be wondering why I got the axe behind me. It's because I, I needed to chop some wood. And, uh, I'm trying to refurbish my axe right now. This is actually, I found it on the property after we bought the house. And I think it's the coolest thing on earth because you can tell it's really old. I've been reading this book on the Bushida Code, which is the way of the samurai. You can tell through Japanese culture, something that really matters is the way you present yourself. Now that I've like read about it, I find it. I now understand why we should present ourselves in our our truest form and our most natural way on everything we do like why do we conform to things why do we conform into social situations how come you act a certain way when you're around your boss when uh, you're around your co-workers and that's something I learned working at tractor supply and I learned to carry myself in front of my managers the same way I did in my my co-workers and the thing is my managers ended up liking me more because what you end up doing is treating them like a human a lot of people treat their managers like they're oh the best thing in the world and like man they they control whether or not I keep my job or something but then I realized when I started treating my managers in a way like acting how I usually act which was how I acted with my co-workers is the normal way that I acted it just makes everything a better place and I know this video is just rambling but god it's my four-year anniversary just let me do it man the fire's gone out and I don't have any more kindling shoot and these logs didn't catch fire really well dang all right, whatever. But all I really got to say, life has been good. Another lesson that I've learned is having balance with everything. I don't know if you guys have seen, but ever since 2021 started, I haven't been posting as consistently as I used to. In 2020, I posted every three days for half of the year. And after 14 days of nerd period two, I started posting once a week. But this year, I truly wanted to start something new with not posting any gaming con commentaries anymore. And also with posting when I feel like it. I used to have this notion that if I never forced myself to do YouTube, that I'd never do it again. I'd never make a video again. It was kind of counterproductive to what I thought when I would take breaks off of YouTube. I would take like a week break from YouTube. And after three days of not doing YouTube, I was like, holy crap, I just want to do YouTube again. I really find that posting whenever I want not only gets me the best content that I could possibly make. Also, I'm only ever doing YouTube when I want to do it. And now that I'm not forcing myself to ever do anything, I'm working more than I ever have. I'll say I'm working more than I used to back in 2019 and 2020 when I was going to high school and had two jobs and posting every three days. I'm truly doing more work than I used to. Dang, it just feels good. But yeah, man, life has been really good to me. I can't feel more appreciation and gratitude than I've ever felt. Life truly has felt unreal lately. And I thought that was never a feeling that I would feel. I really thought out of high school, life was just always gonna be how it was in high school. I feel like there's a lot of people who get out of high school and still feel that feeling. But instead of living their life, they feel like they wanna live in the past. I saw this quote is, when we're kids, we always wanna grow into adults. But when we're adults, we always want to be kids again. I don't remember the rest of the quote, but basically when I got that, it's just like, man, live your life. And when I got out of high school, I wanted to go back to school. School was so easy now that I think of it. Everything in life was just laid out for you. Everybody told you what to do and you just did it. And we hated that when we were in high school, but when we get out of high school, we miss it because now we have to make our own direction. But then I realized that is truly the best part about being an adult. And I'm truly happy to be where I'm at now because nobody tells me what to do. I do what I want when I want. I'm making a way for myself in life and I truly feel successful. And I really hope that's something that everybody else can feel one day. I think about how many people there are out there right now that just live life in the past. For the longest time, I know I know how that feels. And just, I can't even describe how good it feels to live in the present now. And that is the best thing that has ever happened in my life. I will say that YouTube has been a part of the reason why I figured myself out in life. And I feel like 
I've grown into the man that I'm supposed to be and every day that passes now, I'm, I'm a better version of it. And that is the greatest feeling of life, man, to be a man in this world. No matter how unfair things that can be, but the fact that we have the ability to fight it and the fact that we're here, life is truly the greatest gift. Thanks guys for being with me the last four years and hey, another four to come. Thanks for watching.